Hey everybody, welcome to episode five of Stardom Space and Science Network's web series on astronomy, Clear Skies. I'm George. And I'm Eric. And we're here at the Space Foundation in Colorado Springs. We're gonna walk you through some of the very basic stuff about astronomy that you might wanna know. Things you might have questions about, but you're not quite sure who to ask. I'm really interested in astronomy and I wanna learn more. Where do I start? Well, the good news is that this is 2018, not 1618. In those infant days of astronomy, not only weren't there many publications or sources of information, but Europe was in the middle of the scientific revolution in its fight against the Catholic Church. Galileo himself was tried by the Roman Inquisition in 1633 for his views on the universe. He was found vehemently suspect of heresy and spent the remainder of his life under house arrest. Now, can you imagine spending the rest of your life under house arrest because you thought the Earth was round and that it was not the center of the universe. Nowadays, we have extensive libraries, the internet, and of course, 400 years worth of scientific advancement in astronomy, physics, and math. Most astronomical societies and astronomy clubs have loaner equipment that is available to members. And besides that, they have members who have been doing astronomy for many, many years and would love to teach you. You can join an astronomy club pretty much anywhere in the world, and I'm sure they would love to have you. You could also choose to take an astronomy course online or at a local college. Now, Eric and I learned a lot of our astronomy from the Colorado Springs Astronomical Society here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. It's a nonprofit with about 140 members. Eric is the youngest active member. We joined CS Astro about five years ago when he was nine. The folks there, they basically took him under their wings and they have been teaching him astronomy ever since. Now, there are hundreds and hundreds of astronomy clubs throughout the country, throughout the world. Any one of them would love to have you as a member. When I first joined, I knew a little bit about astronomy, but not a lot about how to use telescopes or anything like that. Since I've joined, I've learned a lot. And throughout the course of presentations and meetings and interviews and other activities of that sort, I've learned a lot more than I had known originally. We also have an annual five-day campout called Rocky Mountain Star Stare, in which we have national level speakers, all kinds of different activities, and that's also a large source of information. And for new people who are getting into astronomy, it's something that can start making it seem more interesting to them, for people of all ages. If you'd like to know a little bit more about Rocky Mountain Star Stare, go to www.rmss.org. You'll see everything we do, lots of pictures, lots of information. It's a great event. We have kids, we have adults. It's fantastic. You'll love it if you like astronomy and you like camping. It's phenomenal. So we also volunteer for CS Astro's public out outreach program, where we bring telescopes out to the local community. We bring them out to parks. We bring them out to events. What we do is we get people who normally wouldn't have any chance of seeing something in the night sky with their own eyes. We bring our scopes out. We let them use them. So step one about finding astronomy and learning more is to Google your local astronomical society. There's one in most major cities and sometimes there can be several within just one region. They most likely have a website and on that website they most likely have an event calendar. And on this calendar you can learn when to attend meetings, when to go to star parties or other events. And that's when you can get to know the club members, they can get to know you, and you can take your first step toward learning a lot more. Of course, you can go to the club meetings, get to meet everybody. You can just write to them to ask questions. A lot of them are even gonna be on Facebook and Twitter, so access is even easier. And believe me, I'm the public relations director for CS Astro, and we get messages and we answer all the time. And we love to get them, we love to answer them, we love to have people come in. Now I'm telling you, nothing really beats go into one of these astronomical meetings, you're gonna be in there with a the room with a bunch of people. At first, you may seem overwhelmed. You're gonna think, I don't know anything. Well, guess what? There's beginners, there's advanced, there's experts. You don't have to be all of those. You only gotta be one. You gotta learn sometime. So get to a meeting, get started locally with one of your local clubs, and learn. There's also the most obvious source of resources, the internet. You can find just about anything with a Google search, including anything that you'd like to know about astronomy. Sites like nasa.gov, space.com, telescope.com, 
csastro.org, and stardomspace.com are just the tip of the iceberg. Another resource is your local community college or university. Astronomy is very popular and classes are offered all over the world. You can even follow this with an advanced degree, astrophysics, astronomy, space studies. As a matter of fact, Stardom's founder standing here off camera, Ron Sparkman, it's exactly what he's doing, okay? He has been a DJ for years and years. He decided he wanted to change. Now, he's pursuing a degree in astrophysics. Another great resource is YouTube. There are videos out there about everything, and there are tons about astronomy and telescopes and other stuff like that. If you like your astronomy with a bit of humor, check out the program Star Talk, hosted by Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. It combines science and entertainment to bring astronomy into your living room. It's a great show. Give it a look. What about libraries? What about bookstores? Magazines. eBay. Yard sales. Facebook. Twitter. Your parents. What do you mean? I'm the one who teaches you things. Yeah, whatever. That's a discussion for another time. We hope we piqued your interest in astronomy and science. We invite you to keep coming back. For more information on science, astronomy, and space, we are, of course, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram at Stardom Space, and, of course, on StardomSpace.com. And, hey, don't forget, ask your kids to watch with you. Kids love to see other kids doing astronomy. Bye, everybody, and clear skies. What's going on, everybody? I am Ron from Stardom, and today we have been filming the very first season of a telescope and an astronomy series called Clear Skies. And I am here with one of the co-hosts of the series, George White. George, how are you doing today? Doing great, Ron. Thanks. Man, we have uh, it's really been a blast working with you today. You and your son have done an incredible job. I think we're going to learn a lot about it. And the thing is, is that you guys were actually inspired from the Astronomical Society that we met in. That's how we became friends. Can you tell us a little bit about CSAS, uh, the Colorado Springs Astronomical Society? Sure. We're a nonprofit here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And basically, we serve the entire Pikes Peak region by outreach programs, getting space and astronomy and science out to the people. Mm -hmm. uh, we go out to the parks, uh, we go out to events, we bring scopes, we set up, and we let them observe the night sky through our equipment, basically. And in addition to that, we hold meetings monthly, events throughout the year, and of course, one big event uh, every summer, RMSS. And I think what a lot of people uh, maybe don't know is that there's so much light pollution, so many people have never seen the Milky Way. One of the great things about Rocky Mountain Star Stare is that people get to go out in, the, in this deep, dark, black sky and yeah. finally see the countless stars in the Milky Way galaxy. It blows people's minds. So can you tell us a little bit about RMSS and some of the people that have shown up over the years? Because you've had, had some really amazing guests. Yeah, we sure have. So Rocky Mountain Star Stare, it's an annual five-day international star party, if you want to call it that. And we hold it down uh, it's near Gardner, Colorado. And the cool thing about it is, like Ron said, it's, it's, a, it's, it's not a certified dark sky site but it's right next door to the only two of them in uh, Colorado, which is Westcliff, We're right down the road, dark, dark skies. So what we have is we have uh, two to 300 people come in every year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a camping site, we've got 35 acres out there, and we do five days, uh, well, four days and a night of pack up mm -hmm. of, of science and astronomy. Lots of events during the day. Uh, we have people come in, give presentations, and then the night times are spent uh, doing astronomy. And as far as speakers, well, let's do this year. We've got Dr. Fran Bagginall, from the University of Colorado Boulder. She has worked on Is numerous, yeah. numerous uh, events. Uh, this year, she's coming to talk to us about the Juno mission. Nice. And yeah. also from UC Boulder, we've got Amanda Hedricks, and she's going to be talking to us about Cassini. And uh, that's the, we've had Dr. Bagnall come several times. That's amazing. Uh, it, it is amazing. We've had some really, we have some great speakers. It's, it's a really great event. And uh, can you tell us some places where people can find you online? Can you tell us the website and where they can find you on all social media platforms? Sure, absolutely. So for the Colorado Springs Astronomical Society, it's easy, www.csastro.org. And for Rocky Mountain Star Stare, rmss.org. On Facebook, we're at Colorado Springs Astronomical Society and Rocky Mountain Star Stare, of course. Uh, on Twitter, it's Rocky Mountain Star Stare, spelled a little bit differently. I have to hunt to find it. And we're also at csastro.org. Fantastic. And thank you guys so much for uh, following the first season. We've got more seasons coming up in the near future with these guys, and we're going to go uh, even deeper. And also, we're going to be doing a telescope giveaway. So make sure you guys are liking and following us, and make sure you do like and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next season of Clear Skies.